Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. Boy, do I have the most hilarious thing to tell you. I actually don't know how funny it is, but it's it's funny enough to me to have a good laugh with you. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm 35. I live in Oregon. I'm an all-cash budgeter. I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income. I talk mostly about finances on this channel, my own finances and budgeting, what works for me. I'm not a professional. Um, you sure in the heck uh, should see a professional um, if you are looking into what I'm about to talk about um, because I am not a professional in this field. This is the first time I've ever had anything quite like this. So, now that we got that spiel over with because I have tons of new subscribers, so welcome, I appreciate you. If you're an oldie but a goodie and you've been here for a hot minute, welcome back. So, this, this segment of this video is called, They Closed My High Yield Savings Account. Yeah. So, if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that... I have a rough time saving cash, not because I don't want to or because I'm not good at saving money, but because I don't have the income right now to be saving tons of money into my high yield savings account or a savings account or even some of my binders and envelopes and savings challenges. So what happened with this account? So let's start from the beginning. So I started on my, my uh, money financial journey of looking for a high yield savings account while I moved into this home. Um, I, I, I've been here for five months now, maybe more, let's say November, December, January, February, March, April. Oh, I guess we're going on seven months. So I opened an account with Ally. I opened another account with another company um, that sent me a letter stating that because I didn't use this account and it had a total of zero dollars and a bunch of zeros at the end of that, that they were going to close my account, which I think is hilarious because this account has only been opened for like three months. Okay. Um, do they not know I'm on the struggle bus? They not know it? I don't know. But I've decided that somewhere in my budgeting, and I'm not sure where this is going to go, probably weekly, if I have a good day of gig working, if I have bonus hours, if I have a decent check to bring to the table for meat and potatoes uh, of our budget, you know, our bread and butter, whatever you want to call it, um, then we will definitely be putting money towards an account. And I don't know if it's just going to be a regular savings account or another high yield savings account, um, but we're going to call it Oblivion, okay? Uh, the reason I'm calling it Oblivion is because I'm going to pretend like I threw it into the distance and it never came back. That way, I don't think that I have an extra $20 sitting around in an envelope for when uh, shit hits the fan and life decides to do this life thing that <laughs> I am not totally without money. I truly believe that if you're on the struggle bus like me, you don't give anybody your last $20. Ever. Ever. Um, that was taught to me my taught to me by my dad who he learned that from his dad and so on and so forth. Um I also learned from my grandfather, who is an accountant, that if you have an account where you don't see the money, you're not looking at the balance on a regular basis, 
that this account that we're naming Oblivion could start stacking some, some bucks. Um, my husband has an, an ATM card for just a savings account where we can pop that sucker in there and throw the money in. But I don't even know if I want that. Maybe it'll be a separate bank completely where I physically walk it in and I'm like, here's my money. Take it from me. Put it in the account, you know, desperate to, to save some money. Put it aside. Maybe we start with 20 bucks. Maybe we start with $10 um, a week. Maybe we start by going, okay, um, I can only afford $5 this week. So uh, here's my money. I'm taking it down to the bank like this shaking going please keep it away from my hands a lot of people ask me why don't i have a high yield savings account i add to on a regular basis because all the money in these binders even though they have categories let's be real this is called shit hit hit the fan and uh now that shit has hit the fan um we need to make sure that we can pull that money. So this is just something that we would not be able to touch. But I am sadly disappointed that that high yield savings account got shut down because apparently I wasn't throwing money into the oblivion. You know? Disappointing, but that's okay. Um, I learn a lot of things by doing things the first time the wrong way, right? Um, I am not a fan of living life with debt with a bunch of zeros on the end. Um, somebody mentioned actually in my previous comments that my car payment is high. Yes, my car payment is high. I know. I know. I'm the first one to know. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me. I'm the first to know, but it was my very first car payment. I had never had a loan before. I have no student loans. I have no house payment, even though I own my home. This is a single wide manufactured home in a park. This is a 1966. This isn't a, the grand per, per, the, the, it's not the grand freaking beautiful single wide double wides that you see for a hundred thousand plus dollars in mobile home um manufacturing parks or when you go to a dealer i did that once i made a short about it um but i've never had a high yield savings account before this i never had a car loan before this so a lot of the stuff that you're seeing me do I do either on a regular basis or it's a first time deal, you know? Um, I have been in the budgeting game for quite some time now. I already went through the Dave Ramsey baby step process of getting out of debt, made it to baby step number three, and then I moved into an apartment after being homeless, becoming debt free, um, you know, and, and the goal to becoming debt free was to not be homeless. No, I was not on drugs. No, I was not on alcohol. No, I was not a gambler. No, I did not have any mental health issues. I was just poor. Okay. So I'm not going to make double payments on my car payment when I'm on the struggle bus and you don't need to either. Um, the idea is that you find an account you know, whether it be high yield, regular savings, something like that. And even though you might be doing the same things I'm doing here, which is saving money, uh, cash saving, doing everything with cash, um, not using my uh, credit cards, stuff like that. Um, maybe it's nice to have an account called Oblivion and you just throw it into Oblivion. Um, if you have an account like that, let me know in the comments below. Please be kind with your comments. I know I've been coming up with some pretty controversial um, content lately, especially talking about um, income, cost of living, um, inflation, 
gas prices, all the things. So if you want to leave me a comment, let me know. Do you have an account that's an Oblivion account where you just throw the money in there? Did you start small? Um, if you are between the ages of, we'll say, 25 and 40, what are some things that you have learned from having savings that you just throw into oblivion? What are, what are some things you've learned from that? Um, because I, I believe we're all in a learning curve. Everybody's learning everything um, at a different pace, a different time in life. Um, I didn't have a credit card until I was 29 years old. 29 was my magic credit card number. And no, I don't overuse. I don't have a crazy limit. I don't like all my credit cards are like three to five hundred dollar limits. I refused to allow myself to get back in to a bunch of debt. Um, I didn't want to get into a bunch of payments on things every single month. I didn't want to jump from one company to another to try to save myself money. It never works out, folks. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. So we do everything with cash on this channel and we're going to have an account. I don't know where I'm going to go, but today I'm going to go find an Oblivion account and that's part of my job for Friday, um, along with gig working and waiting to start my new print job and hopefully getting my paycheck on the 5th by my previous employer. And boy, is that a show over there. So do what you can with what you got and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.